Hey guys, how are you? I am back with another Super Hot Pod review. And uh, this is one I grew myself. This is a 7 Pop Wes. And it's not entirely fully ripe, uh, but it is starting to get a little soft. So I gotta do this. I gotta do it now. Um, my season has ended, so I had to pick these off the plant as a uh, some of my pods were starting to get blossom and rot. Um, it's cold and damp. Basically all my plants are dead, save for a few. Um, and I'll plant seeds again in a few months for next season. Um, I have a few different shapes off of this. Uh, this one here, the one I'll be eating tonight, definitely has a more classic seven pot shape. Um, that flattened tail and it pleats or lobes at the top. You can see very uh, bumpy and wrinkly towards the top, towards the calyx. And my plant also threw these um, very maruga-like pods with a tail. You can see them. Now, as you can see, again, it's a very large pod. Uh, this is my hand, this is the pod, uh, and from my experience, uh, before the frost hit, it's quite prolific. So you will get a lot of these per plant. If the season treats you right. I've gone ahead and pulled the stem off. I'm going to cut it open and uh, we can see what this thing looks like. And try and get a nice cut right down the center. We'll see what's up with this fella. Now again, you'll notice that this has a little bit of green still left in it on the inside. I did have to pick early, but here we go. One side is all solid placenta, uh, the other side not much in it at all. As you can see, the entire wall of the chili is lined with placenta tissue, lined with it. And there are pools of oil everywhere in this chili. There are also a decent amount of seeds. So I'm going to try and take a moment here to take some of these out. Oh, God, that sucked. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. Um, I'm going to have to put off doing this review for a while. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well, <clears throat> looks like this is going to be the first one of these videos with a blooper reel. Um, when I was deseeding this pepper, uh, it sprayed oil right into my eye. Um, not sure if you can see that, uh, but <laughs> it got rid real quickly and it was extremely painful. Uh, so. Yeah, kids, uh, when deceiving super hot peppers, keep them very far from your face. <laughs> Apparently, the seven pot wet is also crossed with a spitting cobra. Um, but just so you can see it one last time, before I eat this bad boy. Yep, placenta is completely undisturbed. Just went in, took a few seeds. As I'm definitely thinking I want to grow this next year. Cheers, folks. Seven Pot Wes.
very free. Extremely hot already. Got a very nice flavor. burn so violent.
throat, mouth, tongue, gums, cheeks. Wow. I'm starting to even out now. Holy shit. It's already peaked, but oh my god, is that violent? most violent burns ever. The roof of my mouth feels like I just uh, stuck a branding iron to it. Throat feels like I swallowed a fire poker. And my gums are on fire. Flavor on that. Really good. It's ex it's extremely fruity, very sweet. Um, uh, has a very citrusy flavor too, which is uh, uncommon for a red super hot. It's a touch floral. Uh, the citrusy ed edge and a uh, slight acidity, acidity balances that out. Uh, flavor, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. That heat though, that's a killer. Oh. It didn't last long, but oh boy. It hits fast and it hits hard. It kicks like a mule. Uh, that is a 10. And it's a 10 out of 10 on heat. Um, still very painful in the gums and the roof of my mouth. Uh, D 
dear God. <laughs> there you have it. Seven Plot West. Um, if you're interested in growing uh, extremely flavorful and extremely hot chili, it's also quite productive. You want to grow that. If you're interested in it, um, go find Jim Duffy at uh, superhotchilies.com. He'll have seeds. Uh, that's about it for this review. If you liked it, you know what to do. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. Share the video with your friends. Um, I will see you in the next one. Later.